Hello, everyone. It's a great honor for us to share our recent progress on microwave computational imaging (MCI). In this video, we will introduce a research on a frequency diverse benching metasurface antenna (FDBMA) designed to enhance the performance of microwave computational imaging systems. In conventional microwave imaging systems, reconstructing an image requires rest scanning the scene point by point. In contrast, Many surface-based MCI encodes the scene with pseudo-random radiation patterns, and the backscattered data is compressed into one channel. It is a typical inverse scattering problem, and it can be solved using compressive sensing algorithms. This method significantly enhances imaging performance while reducing hardware complexity. However, many surface-based imaging is limited by the number of measurement modes and the SN RF detected signals. To overcome these limitations, we combine a disorder cavity with an optimized high dispersion metasurface to increase the number of measurement modes, and we propose a novel joint bunching method to enhance the SN level by increasing the directivity of pseudo-random radiation patterns. As shown in the figure, both the disorder cavity and random metasurface can generate frequency-diverse patterns with frequency intervals of 100 MHz and 50 MHz, respectively. Combining this reduces the interval to 20 MHz, yielding more qualified patterns within the same bandwidth. The joint bunching method integrates the metal baffle, quasi gradient random metasurface, free non dielectric lines, and random coherent superposition methods. This approach improves the directivity of radiation patterns while maintaining low correlation. This method is general and it can be applied to various metasurface antennas for practical microwave computational imaging. We validate our design through imaging experiments. Using the fabricated FDA VMA as a transmitter and the probe as the receiver, we place an X-shaped target in the imaging plane. The experiments have three parts. First of all, we validate that the SN of the detected signal has an impact on the quality of reconstructed images. Higher fidelity reconstructions can be achieved with an increased SN level. Then, we demonstrate the advantage of reducing the frequency interval. Comparing 41 and 201 measurement modes, we find that more measurement modes produce better images under the same conditions. Finally, the advantage of the bunching design is verified. Increasing the imaging distance from 0.5 meter to 1 meter, the bunching design maintains image quality unlike the non-bunching design, which observes a dropper to decrease the SNR. Thank you for watching. For more details, please refer to our paper, Cheers.